Alright everyone, welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. So, the last thing we were trying to get up and running was the farm, the agriculture. <sighs> We've got tons of wood, as you can see, which is excellent. We have an above ground farm, unfortunately we don't have seeds for it. And mistakes happen, and that's the thing, I've played Dwarf Fortress too many times, too many hours, and I still thought we'd be able to harvest some seeds from above ground to uh, fill our farm. So it's okay, it happens. Now there are ways to get a farm working below ground when you don't have soil. Occasionally that's going to happen. Uh, it's rough, but it can happen. Um, let's see over here. Well this is sand up here. Um, so why don't we try, actually, let's try and dig a little farm over here. It's going to be a bit far away from the main fortress, um, but that's okay. We'll just try and build a little farm right in here. And if that works, it's great. That's excellent for us. If it doesn't, um, I'm going to start showing you how to, either way, uh, prepare the next step. So we're going to resume the game by hitting spacebar going to make sure our mason, we're going to need more doors. We're also going to need floodgates. We're going to need a bunch of those. And actually, just give me 20 seconds here. Turn, uh, turn that down. Alright. So our doors are off. We're trying to do stuff. It's, um... Just have to wait for him to do that for a second. And we have our mechanic creating stuff, so that would be borrowed bullets. He's trying to create us some mechanisms. Again, the V key is how you select buildings, so I can see uh, the, the person there. But uh, T key, sorry, is for selecting a building. And Q is for looking at its tasks. We've got lots of dead stuff. If we had a butcher, we could probably have them chop all those corpses, although it might have been too long. So that's actually something we can do. Let's go select origami here. And go farming related and give him the butchery um, skill. So we're going to build with B, W for workshop, and a butcher is an R, nope, a U. There you go. Now we should build this inside. So maybe we'll quickly have our miners dig out another little workshop for it. You don't have to, but again, um, normally I don't. I actually build a lot of stuff outside in the beginning. But if you're having a, you know, an introductory fortress like we are here, it's a good idea. So we're actually going to build it as an offshoot of the um, refuse stockpile. The reason is the butcher is going to create a lot of refuse. You can just quickly throw it in there. You might get a few unhappy thoughts running through the garbage, but that's okay. I'm not overly worried about that right now for him. And the thing is, later on, we're going to want to expand the refuse stockpile anyway. So it's nice having a little extra room. So when we do start moving all the workshops... Oh. There we go. I knew there was something. And again, Dwarf Fortress, when it saves, it'll often freeze. Don't worry about that too much. So we've now entered summer. Um, we're one month in, we don't have a farm up and running. It's not ideal, but it's okay. We were taking a bit of a slower pace. And I gotta say, Sound Sense is very nice. <laughs> Quite enjoying it right now. Definitely adds to the game. Hopefully it doesn't get to uh, you know, be flagged for any copyright things for audio, but what can you do? Never be. Alright, so dwarves are off. Collecting stuff. Pausing wood in the wood stockpile. It's great. What is our carpenter doing right now? Probably barrels? No, he stopped. Well, we don't really need anything right now. Fine. 
Now one thing I should explain about dwarf behavior. So to fill this wood stockpile, what dwarves actually do is they'll take the closest thing. So you'd be like, oh, this one. Oh, interesting. So we just found a kobold here. Um, occasionally they'll appear. They're invisible until revealed, which is when they come within a few tiles of your dwarves. Um, they can actually just walk through um, doors. They don't really care about that. So let's go ahead and try building some doors here. I mean, we'll see if we can build... Okay, we can build a farm plot in here. We're not going to be able to build it on the stone up there, but we can build it down here on this stuff. So that'll be fine. Um, that's enough for a beginning fortress. So let's go ahead and queue up. So it's B and then P for farm plot. Go ahead and make that our farm plot for now. So this is a temporary one. We are going to start building an actual proper one for our fortress. But it's going to take a little bit more work. And we need a few more things to do. We need those mechanisms to finish, and we also need the floodgates. Alright, excellent. So we can now start building the butcher's workshop. So we put this out. Now you do have to be careful if I go BC uh, or BW and C for a carpenter workshop, for example. You do have to be careful that you select um, because again, it will go for the closest mineral. Uh, so you have to be careful that you select something that's not important to you. Now, none of this is important to me. But it's just something you have to keep in mind. Alright. So, here's our farm plot. What you want to do is you want to go... Um, plump helmets. You want to hit shift enter for all seasons. So you can check that by going A, B, C, and D for spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And uh, plump helmets grow all year round, so you never have to worry about it. So we just want to get our plump helmet production up. And let's see. Almost got the butchery thing up. Okay, the butcher's workshop was built, so let's butcher a dead animal uh, and try extracting from dead animal. And what you want to do is, if you have a butcher, put butcher dead animal, so A, B, and then press R. That'll put it on repeat. That means it will do it until there's no more. Now you can queue up live animals for the butcher shop, but we're not going to worry about that yet. Right now we're just going to have him go and pick up any corpses that are still usable and turn them into meat. Okay, and our farm is now sealed off from the outside. Now one thing we can do real quick is if you hit the D key again, it brings up your designations, and the uh, Z is remove upstairs and ramps. So we're going to toggle this whole area here. Now what this does is aside from leveling up our miners very minorly, is it's going to stop um, enemies or our dwarves as well from walking up or down anywhere here on the mountain. So if we go up a level, you'll see that right now an enemy could just like run uh, and right into our fortress. Now they're going to have to run all the way around here. The reason we're doing this is it doesn't really do anything yet, but it does help us create some defenses. So we are fo forcing them to come from around, which means we could build a wall over here, um, which is something we might want to look into doing, uh, which forces the enemies to run all the way around here, and it footwork forces them into sort of a choke point right here, which there are things we can do with a choke point like that, which are things we're probably going to want to look into in the future, but not yet. Right now we want to get our dead animals up and butchered, we want to get our farmers planting, all the good stuff. Apparently that cat is thirsty, oh it's a chinchilla. 
Oh, I didn't know we had a chinchilla. Whoa. What? It's overcome by terror. Why chinchilla? What have your elf eyes seen? We may never know. So do we have any floodgates yet? Okay, we have mechanisms, and yes, we have our floodgates. So we're actually good. Oh yeah, we want to... I remember we queued up... Um, so just A and T for table. We already built the chairs, we now need tables. Alright. So, next up, we are going to start mining a little bit more with our dwarves. So, D and J. And we're going to build a downstairs right there. And then let's go down a level. And look where our downstairs is. We're going to dig out another 3x3. Three three. This is just what I like to do. You can do a lot of things. And we're going to put enough downstairs in the middle. <clears throat> okay, George is once again the expedition leader. And George, what is your job around here? Right, brewing, plant gathering, excellent. We got our miners, we got our masons, we got our planter. So right now, everyone is doing important things. Unfortunately, we're going to have to stop some people from doing some things. Um, but that's okay. So, things we would like to start building. Um, so this is going to be for the future a little bit. Uh, not necessarily now. But we're going to build five wooden cages. That will come into play a bit later. Because we're going to start building some traps. There's some rudimentary traps to help with base defense. I don't know why these chinchillas are so scared. So, uh, anyway. Uh, how? Sorry, I was saying about how dwarf AI works. So instead of going for the closest thing, like you would, say, want to fill the wood stockpile? Oh, it's right there. How dwarves work is they go top left to top right, and then down. So basically, top left will be the first tile, and bottom right will be the last tile. Now, what this means is, so instead of going for this one, dwarves will always go all the way up here and take this one first. That's just how dwarf AI works. And it's something you have to always keep in mind. Because when you're digging out areas or channels, the dwarf will always go from the top and then sort of make a weird, like this pattern. And it's <laughs> your dwarves will kill themselves more often than not. So we have dug down. And I'm actually going to go ahead and dig down one more level. So cue that up. Alright, so now comes the big thing. We want to build a nice big underwater farm. Completely doable. So we're going to go to the second level here. We're going to look at where we are on the map. Um, this looks fine. We're going to open this up. Three tile wide hallway. We're just going to extend it to where our fortress uh, hallway goes. And then... So right here is our still, right here is our food stockpile. So I'm going to take these in mind, and in fact I'm going to also build a staircase right here. So we're going to build a door in the back, and just a small staircase. And we will put up downstairs here. Now here's the thing, up downstairs are always the best way to go, unless you don't want it to go up. Because it, even if you only ever use it, for example, if I build an up downstairs over here and I never intend to go down from here, it's nice because I always have the option. But if I build just an upstairs, I can't do that anymore. Um, so it's always better to do that, and it won't cause any uh, any issues. So um, this was our food stockpile. Then we're going to build another food stockpile of the same size right here reasons why will become apparent shortly. Now, for this, we're not going to mimic this part, actually. At all. 
we are going to do is build our farm right here. So this is going to be our farm. And we're going to build... Um, it makes a lot of sense to build a double doorway into the food stockpile from here. Just extend this a little more, just so those line up a little bit. So this is going to give our dwarves quite a bit to do. So what the dwarves are going to do is they're going to mine out this way to get to the top left tile and then mine down like this instead of mining this room first and etc. That's right. So what our plan is for irrigation, much like irrigation in real life, is we are going to dra drag this river all the way down to our farm plot. We're going to flood it and then we're going to close up um, the tunnel to stop the river from doing that anymore. Now this is how I have always done farms, uh, because you didn't used to be able to just build them like this properly, it, it was very janky. Um, unfortunately, I've had lots of people uh, on stream say like, Oh, Lobster, why aren't you doing the easy way and just building it, you know, up here? And I was like, oh, uh, I thought you always had to irrigate the ground. But no. It's good to know you don't have to. But uh, it doesn't doesn't feel right. <laughs> so right about now, let's see. Do we have any idlers? Our woodcutter is not doing anything. So what do you do, Borrowed? Exactly. Well, you're a mechanic. We still need you to do that. But we don't need you to do it right now. So what we're going to do is start building those traps I was talking about. So B, hit T, with shift T, sorry, for traps. And we're going to take a cage trap. So a cage trap requires one mechanism and one cage. So we're going to build two of those here, because again, uh, the way it works is enemies are going to be forced to come down here and either run this way or come this way. So similarly, we'll build cage traps right here. Rock traps are very effective at killing your enemies early on, also killing your dwarves. Cage traps are very safe, um, and they will trap just most enemies in a cage. This allows you to use them for fun later, but more importantly, allows you to use them for training your military, which is what I like to do. So we are going to need some more me mechanisms, though. So we'll just build a few of those. Actually, we're also going to need some traction benches. So we'll queue up all of that. Are still, let us try and brew drinks from plants and extract drinks from plants again. Now you can see right here, the farm plots, these have been planted with seeds. Unfortunately, they're going to take a while to grow. What is our planter doing? Okay, he is still planting seeds, that's very important. Alright, now we just need to wait a little bit and wait for everyone to finish doing what they're doing. And there is a lot of waiting in Dwarf Fortress, but it's never a bad thing. Alright, we're going to start putting some doors down here. It's not super important right now. Maybe we'll hold off on it then. We are going to need these two doors, though. That's very important. We're also going to need the door um, to the farm here, just in case some things go wrong. We at least have a door to slow down the water. Alright. Excellent. If we hit the Z key, this will bring us the status of our fortress. And you can see here we have roughly 400 food, but most of that is in drink and seeds. Uh, so that's okay. 
but it means we do have to start worrying about that. And uh, these numbers are not approximate, like they're completely approximate, so who knows how many we actually have. We might actually have four. Um, but that's okay. Excellent. I was just about to say, so when we get some migrants, we'll set up a bookkeeper and find out how many we do have. So now I'm going to bring you the dwarf therapist. So you hit connect to dwarf fortress, you get this, and we're going to group by migration wave. And we're going to refresh and read dwarves. Okay, so that's it. We just got two migrants. Um, but that's okay. Two's a good number right now. Let's, let's see what they are here. We have a woodcutter. Alright, not very useful. And a fishery worker. Fishery worker's useful. It's going to get us some food. We're going to change up their jobs. But the first thing, we're going to rename them. Because again, when you name them, you remember who they are. So, who do we still have? Well, we don't have Beagle yet. And... Do we have Herbie? No. Let's go ahead and name you Herbie. So, let's go ahead and take Beagle, for example. Beagle, you're a woodworker. You're a woodcutter. We don't need that anymore. We just need the one woodcutter. Um, hauling is fine. What we do need you, though, we probably need you on food production. We're a bit low. But, what else do we need? Uh, not masonry. No, it's uh, crafts. Stone crafting. We're going to put him on stone crafting. And you can hit G to see what your dwarves are skilled at. He's only an adequate woodcutter. That's it. We're not going to worry about him. And our fishery worker. Um, we actually might just leave on fishing for now. I feel like that's a very safe option. Uh, we will put him on fishing and butchery. Uh, I think that probably sounds actually very good. So now we can go ahead and take our planter origami here and take him off butchery. And all he words about is farming. That's it. I know if Brazilian was here, he'd, he'd be upset that he's not the butcher. <laughs> but it's alright. Let's go ahead and build a fishery workshop. Right in here. That'll be fine. And again, this isn't the most optimal uh, fortress setup, and it's definitely not the design I normally go with, but it's a very basic one. It's just one designed to set you up, get it so you're playing the game fine. Oh, you know what, actually, <laughs> let me just... Um